Hey y'all, it's your local connection. Yeah. 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 Today I'm back here with another video, and as you guys can see by the title, I am going to be showing you guys how I laid on my wigs. Y'all been wondering how I laid on my wigs. This video was sponsored by Perfect Lace Wigs. I've worked with them before. I love their wigs. Um, they sent me this bob. It's a 360 lace wigs, but I'm not. I'm not that elite yet to do a 360, so I'm just going to show you guys how I lay down front. Maybe in a couple months I'll be able to. But, yeah, so, um, I've been wearing this wig for maybe, like, two weeks now. Very good quality, y'all can see. I washed it, like, maybe, like, a couple days ago. But, yeah. And when I mean two weeks, I don't mean, like, two weeks continuously. I mean two weeks, like, over time. I'm just gonna show you guys how to install your hair because I already think like everybody's been wondering how I like, be laying my wigs down so I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna you know I'm probably gonna do a voiceover because I just got my braces and my I'm getting cut up so this video is probably gonna be up before my braces thingy but yeah I got braces um so here I'm just cutting holes where my ears are at because it just makes everything easier on applying the bald cap because we're trying to have this bald cap be bald. Scalp, baby, scalp. And then I go in with this got to be free spray to lay down everything to stick it to my head because this is the most important part to me because you have to have this like, you have to have the bald cap stick to your head. And then I smooth out with my rat tail comb to like get it thoroughly in there then i go in with the blow dryer you can choose to air dry it but i feel as if that takes forever and this whole process already takes forever anyway so once it's dry i go in with this razor if you if i had scissors it would be easier but yeah um i like using the razor for the like this part this hairline part because i like that jagged look and how it looks after because I like the scalp illusion to make our wig look as realistic as possible. And I go with the razor to get all the pieces that were not able to lay flat, like those little pieces. So here I'm going in with my got to be glued to lay down all the pieces that were not being were not able to be cut and then I go in to dry it to secure and lay that baby. And don't go in with your got to be free spray because that will make your cap lift and that'll be a waste of ball cap and a waste of time. This right here is the key to making your bald cap look as bald as possible. You need to have a foundation color that is your shade. I use um, liquid foundation. Some people use um, powder foundation. I like liquid foundation. I feel as if it's it just looks better to me. And yeah, I don't do the whole bald cap. You can choose to, but I only do the parts that are like being shown because it's like no point and then i go with my rubbing alcohol and i just rub my hairline or wipe my hairline of all the glue and foundation that was on there i just put the wig on to see like how everything is gonna line up and stuff and I go with my got to be glue. I used to use ghost bond, but they that took my edges, baby. No more edges for me. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't use got to, um ghost bond anymore or bolt something like that. It was it's I don't use harsh glues on my hair anymore unless I really really need to because baby my edges is gone. But I just dry this the first coat until it's clear, and then I go in with the second coat. To secure that baby because that one coat ain't enough but yeah i just do the same thing as i did for the first and i just spread it all across my hairline i put most of it on like the cap kind of like in between the cap in the in my forehead and stuff so and then i go in my blow dryer again and do the same thing this is the most important part you need to make sure that you're placing the wig right and where it's supposed to be and 
having a rat tail comb on hand is gonna be really really needed really really needed but yeah i just go in with the rat tail comb to smooth everything out like that as you guys can see some of the hairs like of the wig might be glued on the thing but that will be fixed later so don't even worry about that just worry about getting the the wig to be as flat and as smooth as possible I go with my scarf because you know we gotta lay that baby down. We gotta lay it down. And I put my hot my hot comb on stove on the stove because you know we gotta hot comb this baby down y'all can see how rough it is right here i'm just brushing the hair back to like see if any hair was caught in the glue and i'm pulling the hairs down that were caught in the glue because we need them we need them yeah, this is just the way i pull out the hairs no hairs come out or anything, but I just like, that's how I pull them out the glue. And here I'm, I'm using the hot comb and I just push everything back at first. Like I don't care about molding it. I just try pushing everything back and getting the top to be flat too, because we don't want no bumps at the top. And I'm just like pushing everything back. Trying to get everything to look as natural as possible. You want to just continue to push everything back. Like, that's just the easiest way for me to, like, then start styling everything. But with the hot comb, you need to be really careful because you can burn yourself really, really bad. So, and make sure that the hot comb is not too hot because you can actually burn off the hair. So, what I did, I tested the hot comb at the ends of my hair to see if, like, it would burn off and stuff. Going with my rubbing alcohol again to get everything that should not be in my forehead, like the glue and stuff, because that's the only other thing we have applied. And I go with my foundation to go into the spots that don't look as natural your hot comb is gonna be like key to this it's the foundation and the hot comb that's gonna be key to make your look look really natural but here i am starting to style it and i'm just pushing the front back more to get like that push back like that push back look so like i'm just pushing it back like that like i'll go in push it and curve it like i'll curve it right there Now go with my got to be free spray and spray that on the back of the brush to like have everything hold because I don't have a wax stick. So, but this works just as a wax stick would. But yeah, I just use this to like hold and spray, like keep everything intact and do that at the top too to get all those flyaways down. But as you can see, they're still popping up. But look how good that looks like what look how good that looks I just spray some got to be free spray on the top to get those to get it to look sleek and lay down and flat and i go with the got to be free sp the got to be glue again to go into the places that did not get the the glue they needed and i just smooth that out with the back of my 
rat tail comb. Your rat tail comb is going to be really key to this too. Like everything I'm using, bro, you, you kind of need it to have like a good install. And then here I'm just styling the hair, you know, spraying some water on it because we're not trying to have some dry hair. Look how good that looks. Like what lace, baby? What lace? Tell me because I want to know. <laughs> But yeah, I go on with some mousse. I got that from Dollar Tree. I need to get some new mousse, but it's literally whatever because, you know, <laughs> it still works the same, so. The other side of the hair is kind of heat damaged because I ran the hot comb through it, so y'all can see, like, that part is kind of straight, but... It was curly at first, but <laughs> not anymore. That's what you got to be really careful with the hot comb because you never know if your head is going to become heat damaged or your wig is going to become heat damaged or you, there ain't going to be no more wig. I burnt some hair before with the hot comb and it came right off. So you just got to be careful with it and be really careful too. Like... Actually, because the hot comb can burn you. I have, like, multiple burn marks from uh, the hot comb. Trust me. But here I'm just drying it to make everything set and give it more volume because that's what we're here for. We're living for the volume. And then the rest of the video, I'm just styling the hair. But all the products that I've used in this video, I'm going to link them down in the description box below. So if you guys want to purchase them, you guys can go get them. <music> Okay, guys, so this is the end product of the hair looks. It's a 360 lace wig. Don't forget that, y'all. If you guys like how this hair looks, make sure you guys go and get this hair. This hair is really nice. I've worked with this company two times before. This hair is really nice, and it's really soft, and it's just really manageable and really easy to work with. All of the details about this wig is down in the description box below. I really recommend this hair. Like, I would literally buy from this vendor if i was not getting sent these wigs thank you guys for watching this video if you guys are enjoyed it. if you did make sure you like comment and subscribe and make sure you guys turn your post notifications to be notified every time i upload and without further ado let's just get out of this video shadan shabash